anoint us afresh. Yes. It's time in this season, God. God, we pray that you will speak to your people tonight. God, give them a listen to you and a receptive heart. See your word tonight. Grant us preaching power, preaching anointing. That we may finish your word of the power and inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Speak, Lord, for thy servant here. Just we ask in the name of Jesus. And all the God people say, Amen. You may be seated tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to, amen, zero in on one scripture from the text. Verse 17, we're going to read it again. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. Well. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw and the whole the mountain was full yes. of horses and chariots fire round about Elijah. Amen. I want to talk tonight from a subject Understanding the big picture. Yes. Amen. Understanding the big picture. Amen. Faith reveals that God is doing more for his people than we can ever realize with our sight. Amen. Difficulties that seem insurmountable. Yeah. Remember that there is a spiritual resource yeah. Yeah. that is always there, uh, even when you cannot see it. Yeah. To my show, hallelujah. Yeah. Look through the eye of faith uh, and let God show you His resources. If you don't see it, God's working in your life, the problem may be your spiritual eyesight. Yeah. It's not God's power. Amen. His power is always available. To my shout, hallelujah. Amen. When the man of God, Elisha, Begin to tell Israel where the Syrian was in captive. At the, they had the upper hand on Syria. They knew where not to go. Where not to go about. Because if they knew where the captain, the man of God said, Don't go that direction. So they had a upper hand on Syria because there was a man by the name of Elisha who had spiritual insight. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Yet divine revelation knowledge of the world about Assyria. Oh, and everywhere they go, Elijah would tell Israel where they were. Oh, the king of Syria said, somebody is among us that is a deceiver. Somebody tell me Israel where we're going. Because we are, we're speaking this thing in the bad chamber, but somehow it's getting on the house top. They didn't realize that God was speaking to the man of God. Somebody show hallelujah. They found out that this man by the name of Elisha was the one that had been leading Israel, directed them, positioning them, that they may not be overcome of the army of Syria. To my show, hallelujah. Syria was a great nation, powerful nation. Israel was no might against Syria. To my show, hallelujah. So when they found out that uh, the man of God was the 
arrest in Israel, they came to arrest him. How God and during that time a prophet would have servant to minister unto him. What if God said they rose up early in the morning? There was a host a camp around about the city. Both horses and chariots. And the Bible said the servant of Elijah said, Alas, my master, what are we going to do? How can we defend ourselves against such a great army? Somebody say, Hallelujah. Consider that. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Hallelujah. Amen. Elijah said, Amen. They that be with us are more than they that be against us. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Amen. All the seven of Elijah could see with all those chariots, all those hummus are surrounded about the whole city. And all he saw were dead men. But the man of God said, listen, I see something that you don't see. Hallelujah to God somebody. For they that be for us are more than they that be against us. Sometimes, amen, it look like it's me, my wife, my two children are for and no more. So glory to God somebody. But I stop and let you know there's a God. So I saw glory. Amen. That rain on this earth. Hallelujah, God. And the Bible says that the angel of the Lord is a camp right about them that feel him. So glory to God, somebody. There is an unseen force that you cannot see with your naked eye. But God is as real as you are real. So glory somebody. That's the reason why you may be in the minority, but if God is on your side, you are in the majority. So glory to God somebody. All it takes is you and God. So hallelujah somebody. And the battle is 99% war. Can I dance a little bit? Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to God. Amen. And the man of God said, listen, we can't win this battle. No way in the world we can win it. It's two against a four army. So glory to God, somebody. But he lied so prayed. And said, Lord, let him see what I'm seeing. So glory to God, somebody. And the Bible and said, God, open the eyes of my servant. And God pulled back the scale and let it show in the spirit world. So glory to somebody. I'll stop and tell you there are angels that I cannot see. So glory to somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. How many know that God got angels and it's bidding? God got angels that are called mountains and spirits to minister to those who are the arrows of salvation. Shout out to somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight, I don't have a body, God, that you can see with your eyes, but right beside me. It's my God and an angel. Stop blowing somebody. 